starting in 5 seconds sir i am very glad that i have the opportunity to take part in the discussions on the demands for grants in respect of the ministry of labor i am glad we have got a very good labor minister but i do not know whether he is able to take all the necessary steps to improve the labor situation in this country at this crucial moment sir in the labor ministers conference some time back it was suggested that steps should be taken to enforce the minimum wages in the different industries it was also suggested that non implementation of minimum wages should be declared as a cognizable offense and the offenders should be arrested however it had been agreed at the conference that more deterrent punishment should be given to the offenders and that the act should be amended suitably necessary changes should have been made in the central legislation by this time the industrial dispute act had become outdated and it should be completely overhauled sir if the administration of provident fund scheme at various levels has to be fully advantageous to the employees they should naturally be regional offices which could directly deal with the members of the fund who go in the advances loans etc the present situation has offered an opportunity for the government to make necessary meaningful changes in a number of legislative measures which seek to protect and regulate the rights and working conditions of industrial workers and other employees in fact several clauses of the legislative measures have little relevance to the present day conditions regarding the apprenticeship act once our prime minister said in the state labor ministers conference that the apprenticeship act had not been implemented vigorously it had not been given a trial utilization of apprenticeship opportunities or filling such vacancies has not been uniform in all the states creation of skilled manpower has lagged behind the limits of possibilities so the more important point is that what is to be done with the trained manpower if it cannot find jobs what is even more important is that there is a new sense of urgency and a will to get things done with regard to this the basic problem relates neither to the number of apprentices nor to the value of their stipends furthermore the gross contribution to the fund has been increasing year after year but the average refund amount is not increasing accordingly sir the industrial policy resolution clearly mentions that in the process of rapid industrialized development labor assumes a vital role to help establish a socialistic pattern of society the main problems facing the working class are of getting adequate wages essential commodities at prices they can afford some sort of shelter and cloth the government's minimum needs program has hardly reached and the working class the vast majority of laborers are unable to make both ends meet the government has mentioned endlessly on the question of evolving 
a national policy or on integrated wages incomes and price policy sir it has claimed that the emergency has brought discipline among laborers and the production has been increased yes it is a fact but the laborers are forced to work and they are forced not to take part in the trade union activities the trade union rights have been completely taken away from the labor but sir i want to impress upon the minister that motivations for work should not be imposed from outside but it should come from within a contented labor force is an asset to the development of industries you have taken away the permitted bonus some time back this parliament passed an act to fix the minimum bonus at 8.33% but the same act was adversely amended by the same parliament some time ago the bonus was accepted by this government as deferred wage but the same government has reversed the conception of bonus and this government says that bonus is not a deferred wage but it is connected with production and productivity but what about the owners of industries do you know how much have they reduced in the dns allowance of the workers now a days not only that a number of companies have been held guilty for failure to deposit the provident fund money and also for mishandling the amount due to employees the total number of employees covered by the scheme was 60 lakh which was subsequently increased to 70 lakhs the gross contribution to the fund was expected to be increased but the refund has not increased accordingly further the area in default in payment by the employers on an average over a period of 5 years is increasing alarmingly such a situation calls for stringent regulations and control over the operation and administration of funds stop